how you doing? It's Michael Montgomery with Renzo Real Estate here in Calgary, Alberta, and we are jumping into your statistics today for the month of June 2018. So what are we seeing? We've just had this really interesting half of the year in Calgary. We've been hopeful that we see an increase in sales, but that hasn't really panned out. We've been watching these new mortgage rules to see how that's gonna impact sales. And it's kind of led to somewhat of a stagnant year as far as sales go. Some things have trickled down as far as price points go, but they haven't adjusted really that much. Your benchmark price stays pretty well the same. And that's another, that is what we're seeing again this month, is price point is not changing too much. But when you look at individual market types and look at some different statistics, they are telling a different story. Let's look at apartments. So apartments have been this ongoing story of increasing inventory levels and downward pressure on prices. That's not really changed. But we are seeing a few more sales in the apartment sector and a little bit less inventory. So potentially less sellers are coming onto the market and they're saying, let's see, let's maybe rent it out for a year. Let's maybe rent it out for a few years and see where this is all going. So the decreased levels of inventory levels in the apartment sector does really help. Now, if you are a seller, it does help create a little bit more competitiveness between you and the next person. If you're a buyer, potentially there's less to choose from but there is quite a bit still to choose from on the market in the apartment sector. Detached, so detached has been a really interesting story as well. We've been seeing the inventory levels stay pretty well the same and almost in buyers or balanced market territory where the other product types are clearly into the buyer's favor. Now, what we're seeing over the last month is a few less sales actually in the detached sector. A little bit more inventory, a few less sales. So not too much happening, but it isn't a decrease. It isn't a strong decrease in inventory levels throughout any product type for that matter, but detached as well. We're not seeing a great decrease. And then attached or semi-detached or row, they're somewhat similar to, they're kind of lumped in the middle, these ones. It's interesting, we're seeing detached, which has been more on the balanced market side, depending on where your price point and area. And then we have the apartment on the other side, which we're seeing increased levels of inventory, decreased pressure, downward pressure on prices. And then we have these semi-detached and these rows that are kind of right in the middle. And they're maybe some months, they're a little bit more towards where the detached are. And then some months, they're a little bit more towards where the apartments are. So they're kind of hovering around in the middle. So what does this mean? How can we interpret this? Well, number one, if you're a buyer, you really need to know what you're dealing with. You need to know your product type. You need to know your area. You need to know how to interpret the market. One of the big questions that buyers continue to ask, and sellers for that matter, is have we seen the bottom yet? This question comes up so often, and we can't really answer that. We can look at the data, and we can look at certain indicators within the marketplace. So we're starting to see ourselves come out of that whole recession period, but we're not really seeing too much of an uptick in the number of sales. And that can have to do with the mortgage rules. That can have to do with just overall buyer and seller sentiment throughout Calgary, which it's still a little bit on the depressed side as far as that is concerned. If you're on the selling side, again, you do need to know the market, you need to be competitive, and it's a similar story that we've heard throughout the year. You have to stand out. You have to stand out. And seeing not a huge decrease in benchmark prices doesn't mean that you're not going to take a little bit less than you had anticipated or that you would have taken at the height of the market. So the, although it's, there's not a huge change, you still do have to be competitive on price. But how are some other ways that we can get competitive if you're on the selling side where you're not driving down the price? How else can we structure the deal so that you are able to come across to a buyer as a very favorable suite or a very favorable house, but not come down too far on price? And a lot of that comes down to literally marketing and presentation. Those two things are really important. How can we get the most number of eyes on your property? And then when they're in your property, how can they just fall in love? How can they not choose yours over, or how can they choose yours over the next one out there? So really setting yourself up for success on the selling side. On the buying side, again, knowing the market, knowing where things are going, and also just really understanding how prices have differed between the different market types and where the months of inventory stand in those product types. So good luck out there and we'll see you next month.